We're beginning day four of this brand new year, and if you're like most folks, you've made some resolutions, a lot of them having to do with turning the clock back and looking younger. But even if you stick to your resolutions, most of us won't, actually, and you still <laughs> might not get the results you were hoping for. And Dr. Max Gomez is here with some new high-tech ways to achieve a new year and a new you. Not that we're saying anyone needs one, but... Right. No, absolutely. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Mary. How are you doing with the resolutions, by the way? Still uh, on yeah. them? Start again next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's always next year. You know, as you said, even if you lose weight, exercise more, and eat healthier, sometimes Mother Nature needs a helping hand to turn back the clock, especially if a younger-looking face is what you're after. There's always surgery, of course, but new technology is actually making it possible to rejuvenate without cutting. My skin, my face made me, you know, feel and look a lot older than I really feel inside. Hard to believe Dana DiBiagio ever felt her face looked old. But years of sun worship and a skin condition called rosacea caused breakouts and splotchy looking skin. I had a lot of redness in my face and a lot of breaking out with the rosacea. Um, I had a lot of sun damage, um, fine lines and, you know, general tone of my skin wasn't even. So Dana came to Dr. Lori Brightman for help, who recommended a new device called the E-Matrix. Instead of a laser, it uses radio frequency to deliver energy to deeper layers of the skin, which means there's less damage to the surface of the skin while still achieving a number of good things at the same time. It helps stimulate new collagen, new elastin, gives you some tightening, reduction of the blood vessels, brown spots, and wrinkling. There are other techniques, such as different lasers, that can also treat acne, broken blood vessels, brown spots, wrinkles, even loss of pigment called vitiligo. For overall skin darkening, there's a new natural skin lightening lotion that's as effective with fewer side effects than other creams. Here's what a 28-day treatment achieved in a clinical trial. The key, though, is that no one approach works for everyone. You see your dermatologist, have a good evaluation, and find out what your personal goals are. And then you can choose the technology that's most appropriate for your concerns. For Dana, the E-Matrix did the trick. The differences are subtle, but together they add up to a new year, new you. The fine lines, uh, it really helped to reduce those and the acne scars. And then I got an overall, this lift of, the, you know, a tightening of my skin, which seems to be sustainable, um, which I'm very pleased about. Now, the interesting thing about many of these treatments is that your skin keeps improving, especially in texture, for months afterwards as you continue to make new collagen. Now, Dana said that her face got red for a couple of hours after the E-Matrix treatment, and her skin did peel some for a few days, but it was coverable with makeup. Bottom line, you can turn back the clock without surgery, believe it or not. This makes a big difference for so many people. It does. And then, you know, even little subtle differences, when you add it up on your face, you don't need to change very much on your face for people to say, wow. You look really good, yeah, you know, refreshed. Yeah. So why have surgery at all? Well, you know, that's a good question. If all you're talking about is splotchy skin, fine wrinkles, that sort of a thing, you're, you're okay, you can do something with some of these other technologies. But if you're talking about gravity has taken over, jowls, sagging skin, you know, you've got the, uh, the little turkey neck kind of a thing going on, big bags under the eyes, that really, there's nothing really that can really address that other than surgery. Mm. So you don't want to jump into that necessarily, but... Right. As he looks to me. <laughs>